problem number 3, a uniform bar of length L, cross-sectional area of A, and the unit mass rho is suspended vertically from one end. Show that its total elongation is delta equal to rho GL equal to rho GL square over 2E. And if the mass of the bar is M, show that the deformation delta is equal to MGL over 2AE. We have here the bar suspended vertically from one end and the forces acting here is of course the self on weight of the bar. This is so we denote this as W and from the formula we have the deformation so we have your poor lovers are everywhere. Okay, so from this figure here, continuing na natin, the force P here is equal to W, which is the self own weight of the bar. And if we are going to have the relationship of this W with respect to the unit mass, so we must remember that the weight is equal to mass times the gravitational acceleration constant. And from the idea that the unit mass or the density is equal to mass over volume, so in here, take tayo ng strip from here, and this would be denoted as the differential of the height y and from this point we take this as the height y since this part here is the total length of the bar so kung titignan natin dito sa figure natin we have here the volume of this part yung yung pinutol natin. That is, since kung halimbawa circular yung cross-section ng bar na to. And we have here the cross-sectional area and this is Y. So, for the volume, we know that the volume is equal to the cross-sectional area multiplied by the height. So, we have here the density is equal to mass over the volume which is a y and from here we can have the mass is equal to density multiplied by a y and I think it's a substitute natin dito so we would have here mass that is the density times a y times the gravitational acceleration constant and this W here is equal to P. So P is equal to rho AY multiplied by gravitational acceleration constant. And if we have the deformation and kumuha tayo ng strip, we have the equivalent differential of the deformation. And for the L, that is the that is the differential y so for this we have the deformation would be the differential of the deformation our p here is rho ayg and the l is the differential of y over AE and we have our limit from 0 to L so we take the integral from 0 to L so we have here so if we take the integral and we have here the deformation is equal to since the density is constant, gravitational acceleration is constant, and 
and the area would be cancelled out. The modulus of elasticity is constant, so we factor that out. And the limit 0 to L, so matitira na lang dito, would be y dy. So taking the integral of this, and we have rho g over e, and the integral of y dy is y square over 2. So limit natin from 0 to L. And we have here the rho gravity rho g over e multiplied by cy the upper limit is l so that would be l square over 2 minus the lower limit is 0 so 0 na to hindi na sisulat and simplifying this so we have rho g l square over 2e which is ito yung gusto natin makita. And that is our final answer. Next question is, if M daw is the mass of the bar, we show that this is equal to this formula MGL over 2AE. So, from the relationship of so we have density is equal to mass over volume wherein the volume is equal to area multiplied by the length of L. The, uh, ang pinag-usapan na natin dito is the total na, no? hindi na yung differential na part. So, we have to substitute this raw here. So, magkakaroon tayo ng deformation is equal to the mass over the volume, AL, multiplied by G L square over 2e. So, simplifying this, we would have here mass times gravity and L square divide L, so this is L over 2 si area ay bababa and we have here the e. So, this is our answer. Another solution for this is we have here the bar of the length L and the weight of the bar would be acting at the centroid. So this is W. And bakit do natin nilagay sa centroid yung weight ng bar? Kasi eh, we are going to relate this dun sa mga nagwo-workout. So imagine niya that you are doing the pull up. So if you do the pull up, then so, kapag nasa pull up bar tayo, uh, yung upper body natin yung nagsasuffer. Doon sa weight natin, and yung lower part ng body natin, hindi naman nakakaramdam ng stress. So, so, we can approximate that the weight is acting approximately just below your chest. So, we have here the W. So, acting here. And, uh, since this part here is the center of gravity. And ganun din yan dito sa may bar. Nandun, nag act yung kanyang weight W since we have the same situation. So from here, we have the deformation is equal to PL over AE. Sabi na, poor numbers are everywhere. We have the P is equal to the weight W and we know that the weight W is equal to mass multiplied by the gravitational acceleration constant and from the idea that the density is equal to mass over volume and we know that the volume is the cross-sectional area multiplied by the length 
So we have here the density is equal to mass over AL. And if we express this in terms of the mass M, so mass is equal to the density multiplied by per sectional area in centimeter L. So we would have the P, which is equal to W, is equal to mass, so that is density per sectional area times length multiplied by the gravitational acceleration constant. The P, so ito na yung P natin. And we would have the deformation is equal to P, so that's rho ALG. And the length here to be considered is half of the total length, so L over 2, over the AE. So, in here, maka-cancel yung area. And we would have the density, gravity, length times length, so that's L squared, over 2, multiplied by the modulus of elasticity. And we have here our answer. And so situation 2, since we are asked to express this in terms of the mass, and mass M here, And we know that the density is equal to mass over volume. So volume is AL. And we have here the density is equal to mass over AL. So we would have the deformation is equal to mass over AL multiplied by G L square over 2E. So, magkakaroon tayo ng deformation na M G L squared divided L is L over 2. Baba natin si area. And we have here the modulus of elasticity. And this is our answer. And itong mga to is the derivation of the formula na nandun sa introduction part.